ओके टेन सेकेंड्स टी सी फोर नाइन्टी वन वॉल्यूम ट्वेंटी थ्री क्लास चंद्र स्टार्ट सर आई नो फॉर सम टाइम पास्ट हाउ दिस गवर्नमेंट इज फंक्शनिंग टेक फॉर इंस्टांस द कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री मिनिस्ट्री सिंस द लास्ट वन डिकेट दिस मिनिस्ट्री हैज फेस्ड मैनी चेंजेस it has been changed reorganized many times sometimes inflated and sometimes deflated to suit the particular individuals who occupy the place of power in the beginning as the house is aware there was the commerce and industry ministry it had within its fold external and external trade many of the public undertakings private sector companies and small industries too but from the time to time as i said this ministry had been cut and changed and suffered because of a particular person in power so the ministry became weak and small as time went on the net result was that no effective functioning was possible it is amazing how a vital ministry the ministry of commerce and industry has been subjects to such vici vicissitudes has been subject to such changes we all know that no ministry can function in an atmosphere of instability and uncertainty there has got to be some continuity otherwise the ministry cannot develop its own character its own personality but unfortunately there is a continuous disintegration of the commerce and industry ministry and what is the picture today today sir the different limbs of this ministry have been scattered among various ministries and departments the net result is that if you go to the secretariat you will have a perfect picture of confusion we members of parliament are at a loss to know what is what in this ministry we are amazed that even the officers functioning in the various sectors have no sense of responsibility because they themselves do not know their powers and responsibilities the picture is very confusing as a consequence of this confusion which is increasing the work has suffered efficiency has suffered and the importance of the ministry has considerably gone down it has lost character and personality we talk of industrialization of the country we talk of rapid economic development unless the ministry is clear headed or properly organized it would be difficult to bring about rapid economic transformation or quick economic development so my first remark is that the ministry of commerce and industry has to be properly reorganized so that there can be effective functioning there may be far better coordination and there may be fruitful work take for instance the huge number of complaints about licensing we do not know what is the policy of licensing in certain sectors there has been over licensing in certain others there is not much of licensing also we see that the licenses which have been granted have not been properly utilized partly because the government has not been able to remove some of the official bottlenecks take the instance of collaboration agreements in the matter of collaboration we find considerable delay and lack of quick decision as a result the licenses issued by the department have not been utilized again take the import and export wing of the department and there you will see the same slackness the same indecision and the same indefiniteness about anything therefore for the ministry of function effectively it is necessary that the ministry should have a stable future and should have adequate powers and responsibilities no modern country in the world can cut or slash portfolios or ministries without rational basis but unfortunately here and particularly in this ministry slashing or cutting has been going on without heed being paid to the needs of development and to the needs of efficiency i am afraid if this process were to continue it would be difficult for to create the climate and confidence which are so necessary for running industries in this country my friend was speaking about state trading 
On this question, I feel that no precise policy decision has been made by the government so far. I say this because any policy decision should be preceded by a lot of thinking and it has to be done preferably at the budget time and before that. Now a decision has been taken by the government that instead of one state trading corporation, there should be two. The reason given is that there is enormous increase in the work and range of activity and therefore another corporation is necessary and there should be more allotment of grant for that purpose. I should like to know what are the important sectors of trade which will come under state trading in the future and if there had been planning or a policy certainly there should be perspective for the next 10 or 15 years as to how state trading will develop but by looking at the history of state trading I feel that no attempt has been made to systematize the work and no planning is there and the country does not know what would be the extent of state trading and what would be the schedule of commodities which the state trading is now going to take up.